Golfers are always looking for ways to improve, but this season, the golf.com staff is taking our games to the next level. We're at our local golf techs, taking lessons and tracking our progress, but also competing against our colleagues to see whose game improves the most. This is the Room for Improvement Skills Challenge. So I just got to the parking lot at Golf Tech Plymouth, and we're here for year number two. Last year, I met with Nick Pelly. Several times, my handicap went from a 17 to a 14. Um, and the end of the season, I had some really significant growth. One issue that I still need to iron out is uh, my distance control and my accuracy when it comes to my approach shots, my ball striking. Hit a lot of fairways, um, got much better around the greens, putting, chipping. I still can't hit a green. I still can't hit a green. So year two, we're doing challenges. I'm taking on Claire Rogers. I am here in Cranston, Rhode Island at Golf Tech and I'm facing off against Josh Burhow in the Iron Skills Challenge. It's gonna be good. I have a lot to learn, but I feel like I'm in a good place with my game right now that Josh could be in trouble. Um, so I'm going against Claire. We're gonna do a ball striking challenge basically and I'm gonna go get my baseline numbers with Nick. I'm gonna see how well I do. He's gonna work with me, try to improve in that area, and then I'm gonna go through the challenge they have at Golf Tech and head to head with Claire. And the winner of us will advance to the next round in this challenge. So uh, let's go get started. All right, 120 yards, we're doing two shots. There, look at this thing. It's gonna be right distance. So, so here's here's kind of what's nice about this here. So it tells us the total distance. You hit that 120. You are three yards offline. You hit that basically the 10 feet from the flag. The PG Tour average from this distance is about 20 feet. It's gonna be right at 16 feet from the hole. It's still inside tour average. That's excellent. So now, uh, so we hit two shots. And so now we're gonna to go to 135. So today I did my baseline test at Golf Tech and it didn't go super well, which I wasn't really surprised by because of how much I struggled to hit greens out on the course. But right away, Ryan noticed that I switched my grip before I even like start my takeaway and that I bring the club way inside. So I'm really excited to work with him because he's gonna hopefully fix me and there's a lot of room for improvement here. So it's gonna be a good test. The backswing's looking okay. Right here, when you're at about arm parallel, I would say, we've talked about this before, right? Your hand path at this point is maybe a little bit high. I'll, I'll show you in a second what it looks like, but you're still kind of moving your hands out a little bit. Okay. And then they're getting a little higher above the shoulder. So when you watch our, our tour player there on the right, as he begins going back, you can really just trace his hands along the line. Okay. When you first get into your backswing, your hands start to move a little bit more out towards the top swing plane line, and then ultimately they get a little bit more vertical at the top. Right. So we'll stand inside that guy, so you kind of use that for your hand path. And then I'm gonna set this noodle on the ground just like so. So I'm kind of using that noodle for your swing direction. So you're gonna kind of pull your hands in along the hoop, mm -hmm. and then the downswing, you wanna to try to get your club head to trace and follow the path of the noodle if you hit the noodle, then that means your swing path got a little outside to in. So hands on the hoop, swing on the noodle. And I want you to feel like, again, you're still gonna drive that through turns. So feel like your right fist is going back. So move your hands in, good. Basically to stay under the whole time, even coming back down, you're gonna just stay under that hill. That was good. No, 
So the two things that make the ball kind of go where it goes is the face angle and the swing path, right? So the face controls where it starts, and then the path kind of controls the shot's curvature. The bigger the separation between the two, the more the ball curves, the more they're, they're, they're aligned, the straighter the ball goes. So a little better earlier, but yeah. when you get up to here, your hands are just that much lower. And as a result, at the very top, your hands are just that little bit more behind your shoulder, a little lower. Yeah. And that is what's going to drive your swing plane to be more from the inside, which is going to help us, along with your face angle, to produce this hopefully push draw. And ball will start a little to the right, turn back to the left a little bit because of the relationship between club face and path. All right, I'm here for my last lesson at Golf Tech. We've seen a lot of improvement with the irons. I kind of had to work on just my setup and general address to the ball and a few other things. And I'm, I've seen some good results. So good luck to Josh Burnham. It's gonna be a close one. So the first distance is 120. Uh, what club do we have here? Nine? That's solid. Okay, that's a nice shot. It'll be inside to our average. Score an 88, that's your best score at the station. Uh, that's a good way to start. <laughs> 18 feet. So now we're at uh, 135. So I did unfortunately just lose to Josh in the final skills challenge, but I still feel like I learned a lot. My swing improved. And now when I'm on the course and things start to go wrong, I think that I know my general tendencies, thanks to Ryan, where I can kind of say, okay, here's what I need to work on and then kind of get myself back on track. So thanks Golf Tech for an awesome experience.